Guys, welcome back to another video, XRP update. If you haven't heard the news by now, XRP is being suspended on Coinbase. So that's the US cryptocurrency exchange that you can buy your cryptos on. XRP, you can no longer trade XRP on Coinbase as of the 19th of January, 2021. So make sure if you are on Coinbase, I know a lot of Aussies, Kiwis, everyone from all over the world are on Coinbase, get off coinbase put onto some other exchange i have links to different exchanges in australia down below you can use those you can send it across send it to an xrp wallet and send it out to those so that you can still trade your xrp for usdt usdc usd aud fiat any other cryptocurrency if you wanted to sell out of your xrp now if you're a long-term holder uh I'm, i pray for you <laughs> hopefully you can get some cash back we're going to have a look at the chart as well so that we can figure out where we may see a bottom because this is just blown through support levels. That's not a good sign, especially if you are an XRP fanatic maximalist and you think this is going to go to the moon. At the moment, it's not looking healthy. So let's check out the charts in a moment and work out if we can see some sort of flaws in XRP. Now, I'm not doing this as a big scare tactic. It's just Make sure you're prepared for certain crap like this, especially when there are dates involved. You know that there are time periods coming up. So that's what you can do there with XRP. We don't know if it's going to be a security or not. We do know EOS is not a security. Well, I mean, it possibly was and they paid a fine. So they're out of the woodworks. The ones we do know are not securities, are Ethereum and Bitcoin. So they are your safest bets at the moment if you want to just get the hell out of XRP uh, and you don't want to go into fiat currency. Ethereum and Bitcoin we know for sure are not securities. That's deemed by the SEC. All right, let's have a look at some of the, the news and the charts. A quick thank you to you guys, 35,000 subscribers, really appreciate it. If you're finding value from the videos and the updates and understanding how to use technical analysis to determine your buy entries and your sell targets for your profit taking let me know in the comments and hit the like button it's the easiest way you you can support the channel for free subscribe and the bell notification icon because a lot of you guys are watching the videos and not subscribed you need to keep up to date because we need to look at the charts and find out where we are getting in and out of these cryptos all right news so here is the quick version of the post, Coinbase on Twitter. Given the SEC's recent action against Ripple, all XRP books have been moved to limit only and Coinbase plans to fully suspend trading in XRP on Tuesday, January 19, 2021 at 10 a.m. PST. Afterwards, users will continue to retain access to their XRP funds. So you can move the XRP, but you cannot trade it on Coinbase. Now, is that going to lead to a delisting, basically removing XRP altogether from Coinbase? That is yet to be determined by Coinbase. You would think if things don't go too well, then yes, they will delist it. But at this point, it's only suspended and it looks like they're going to wait until they see what happens with the result, the outcome from the SEC. Now, if you want to take a look at a full article, Coindesk has got something pretty good here. Coinbase said it will suspend trading of XRP. So it is suspending. It's not delisting just yet. There is a lot of word that it's going to be delisted, but there's nothing confirmed yet. I wouldn't want to take that risk. So yeah, go and check these articles out if you want further detail. But essentially, that's the long and the short of it there. That's the date you need to know. And like I talked about at the beginning of the video, the safe bets uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, because they're definitely not securities. EOS has paid their fine. I remember from uh, however long ago it was, it was about $23 million and we know they got $4 billion in their ICO. So what do they care about paying $23 million? Maybe XRP will do the same thing, pay their fine and move on with it and bounce back. So with that said, let's have a quick look at the pricing on crypto coin market cap and then we'll go across to the crypto charts. Uh, XRP, 10 and a half billion at 23 cents. We have seen 54% drop this week. Sure, we did see a pump up to 80 cents uh, a few weeks ago now, but uh, it's not looking very healthy for XRP. I do have a previous video out talking about smart contracts and other areas that might be a better interest, a better place for a, I don't know, a purchase 
This is not financial advice, of course, but I'm looking at the charts and just seeing where there are better opportunities. And uh, the video is on Polkadot, Cardano, and Ethereum. So go and check that out if you are new to the channel or if you haven't seen it yet on the channel. With that said, hit the like button if you are enjoying and finding value from my content. We're going to follow the cryptocurrency bull market right throughout 2021, 2022, and beyond. This is the space. All right, XRP. BTC value, let's hit log so we can see a bit better. Wow, that really doesn't do too much, does it? All right, so we are at 888 Satoshis. Remember, we are doing this against Bitcoin value because we want to accumulate more Bitcoin. If we want to accumulate more XRP, then we should also be looking at our Bitcoin value as well. You know, we want to buy the lows, sell the highs. So we're coming into some lows, but it could be pretty bad news if we break these current all-time lows against Bitcoin value. So we're at around 890 now, so 888, 891. If we were to halve from here, that gets us to these bottoms, that gets us to that low. So that would mean if Bitcoin stayed where it is at 20 something thousand now, 27,000, 28,000, then that would bring us halfway to the price that it's at. So Bitcoin's at nearly 27,000. So if Bitcoin remained around these levels and XRP halved in its Bitcoin value, that means its US dollar value would halve as well from 24 cents to 12 cents. So where does 12 cents leave us? Now we're all trying to figure out probabilities here and just see, is it worth it? Are we going to break some major support levels? There is 12 cents. So it, it comes right in at this spike low in March, the COVID low. Now, if it broke that COVID low, that is extremely bad news because so far for XRP, that has been the most, most difficult piece of news to swallow across all markets, all of the commodities markets, the indices, stock markets, everything. That's been the worst piece of news all year. Now, if that breaks that worst piece of news, then this would be considered even worse news for XRP. So that is the risk that we take holding this thing if it was to get closer to that low. If we hold XRP close to that low, that's a major risk in your portfolio is to hold that because the next line of support is somewhere back at the old highs of 2015 and that's at three cents. You got another little bit of support here in uh, early 2017, that was the first time I bought Ripple, around that three cent area, uh, and then rode it up, got out of it at 20 cents, but I lost a whole lot in Bitcoin value because Ripple is basically trash against Bitcoin. That's what we see here on the Bitcoin chart. Ride it up, get it, get rid of it, buy it back at the lows, sell it at the highs, just get rid of this thing. The sad part about this is that we've broken these lows on high volume. Yes, we still have about six days left until the end of this weekly close. And if this happens to pump back above and close above this level of 1500 Satoshis, then that's a stronger sign for Ripple and things aren't seeming so bad regardless, regardless of the news, the chart is telling us otherwise. So that could be the insiders telling us something that they know before it's on the news. That's why we look at the charts as opposed to the news first. Charts first, news second. The news will tell us what happens, why certain things happened on a chart later, but we're going to see it on the chart first. So this has broken the support on extreme volume, still waiting for the week to close. That's the only thing that is holding us up from here. But if this closes beneath this support level of 1,550, then it's not looking too healthy and I would probably expect a, a test of these older lows back here at around four, five, six hundred sats, which we're not too far from now at 900. So you could probably lose 30 to 50% more on the Bitcoin value. And that's not going to go too bad on the, the USD value because another 20, 30, 20, uh, sorry, 30 to 50% from here brings us down to that sort of 16 to 12 cent area. So if you're willing to hold that, that's your prerogative. Personally, I think it's not a fantastic idea. There's no sign of a reversal yet. I'm not saying there won't be one in the future, but things aren't looking good. What would have to happen for XRP to get over this and come back from it and hopefully get some, some value in it is the SEC confirms it's a security, right? Even if that's the worst thing that happens, it's a security. Pay the fine, move on then I think we'll see the, the bounce and move out of there. But until that happens, 
it looks too risky to be trying to call a bottom on XRP at the moment. So that's the way I would be playing XRP if it was something that I would be wanting to, to invest in, to gain some Bitcoin value, getting out, waiting for this SEC uh, ruling to come through. They will pay a fine if that's the case. At least that's what I'm going with having looked at EOS. So it's not the end, but uh, with EOS, they paid the fine and just moved on with it. And it was next to nothing. And now they've stabilized where they are. Uh, so that's for XRP. Is it something that you would consider holding, getting out of, getting back in later? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, hit the like button. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. And uh, of course, subscribe, bell notification icon, and uh, check out the links if you want to trade or move your XRP into other exchanges. I have them down there for SwiftX, uh, which is based in Australia, and also Independent Reserve, also based in Australia. They also do New Zealand dollars as well for those guys. Cool guys, XRP. Check out the other videos on my channel. We are looking at buy and sell areas for these cryptocurrencies throughout the bull market. So stick with us on the channel and uh, have a great one. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.